Thank you, Madam Chair. I rise in strong opposition to H.R. 1938. We are here debating whether to expedite the approval of a pipeline that will import the dirtiest crude oil on the planet into the United States of America by melting the oil out of the tar in Canada, which creates more greenhouse gases than any other production mes uh, 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 method for crude oil on the planet. It also destroys the boreal forest. It contaminates millions of gallons of water each day. That is a very high environmental price to pay for oil from tar in Canada that may not lower prices for Americans and may never be sold to Americans. But we will build the pipeline for them through our land to accomplish this goal. The majority has repeatedly claimed that expediting the approval of this pipeline will lower gas prices at the pump for the American public. But what factual evidence should we rely upon in order to substantiate this claim? Well, we can't rely upon TransCanada, the very company that wants to build the pipeline through our country, because it has concluded that after the pipeline is constructed, that gas prices would rise in the Midwest of our country as a result of the Keystone XL pipeline. We are also told that building this pipeline will enable us to reduce our dependence on imported oil from countries who don't like us very much. Instead, we will be able to rely upon dependable Canada, our friends, the Canadians. But what are the guarantees that building this pipeline will actually lead to greater supplies of crude oil for the American people? Well, the answer, Madam Speaker, is that there are no guarantees. There is nothing in this bill, nothing, that prevents Keystone XL pipeline oil from being shipped to the Gulf Coast, refined there from the tar of Alberta, Canada, and then re-exported and sold into the global oil market, to China, to Korea, right out of our country. I offered an amendment to the Rules Committee that would have required the Department of Energy to ensure that the approval of this pipeline would, in fact, guarantee that the benefits of the Keystone oil being transported through our country stay right here in our country. My amendment would have required that Keystone oil be sold in this country. That would increase the gasoline and the diesel supplies at the pump and would help to ensure lower prices at the pump. And my amendment would have benefited domestic businesses that use refined petroleum products, including plastics and chemical companies, by ensuring a steady supply of petroleum products for their manufacturing plants here, made in America. My amendment was consistent with long-standing U.S. policy on oil exports. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Republicans refuse to allow it a, a vote on my amendment here today. They won't even allow our members to vote on keeping the oil that is going to be transported in a pipeline that we're going to allow to be built through our country here. So yes, it's the dirtiest oil in the world. But at least if you're going to build the pipeline, at least have it be sold here in America and not sold to China, not sold to Korea, at least have that guarantee. They refuse to even have a vote on it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what this is all about. Once again, it's all about this ideological belief that the largest oil companies know best. We should not be taxing them. We should not be putting any burden on the biggest oil companies. Better to push the American economy to the brink of fiscal collapse than the Republicans would ever consider allowing to rescind tax breaks for the biggest oil companies. They wouldn't even begin to think about putting that on the table. Grandma's Social Security check? Absolutely. 
building a pipeline through our country with the dirtiest oil in the world to be sold to Asia? Absolutely no problem for the Republicans. So this bill, despite the overwhelming factual evidence that building the pipeline will only result in dirtier air, more profits for big oil, without benefits to the American consumer, they are going to continue to push forward. Vote no on this environmental atrocity.